Today I'm at the Zatari refugee camp near the Syrian border where there are 80,000 Syrians living in tents. The conditions are unimaginable. Uh, many of the people have been traumatized because they've had to see their family members and friends killed right before their eyes. family members. He said that the Assad regime came to his uh, town and uh, slaughtered people, cut off their arms and slit their throats. Floods of refugees, mostly women and children, very vulnerable, coming into Jordan and uh, being left out in the streets and no place for these people to, uh, to hide in or to live in. This is uh, Sawa and Sabrine. They both lost their husbands who were killed by the Syrian army and their houses were demolished. Thanks to World Help, we managed to give them uh, basic needs. And that was not only fulfilling their uh, physical needs, but emotional as well. As they see someone for the first time stretching their hand, not only helping them, but hugging them and giving them words of hope. And I'd say it's time for us to rise up and say enough. It's time for us to do something. And it's time for us to help these precious children.